This time of year, it's hard in the Pacific Northwest. It's dark, it's gray, it's wet, it's cold. It's so tempting for me just to bundle in and stay inside and wait for spring to arrive. But this is the time of year when oysters and other shellfish are really in their prime. And in order to get at these shellfish, you need to go at low tide. In the winter, that happens in the middle of the night. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm Shina. Nice to meet you, Ashley. Nice to meet you, Ashley. Are you ready to do this? Yes, let's do it. I I'm think so you, excited. You you need better gear. You okay. are not ready <laughs> for this adventure. Just literally just dive right in. Yeah. This is perfect too, because you won't lose me out there. That's with these why on. we buy the orange. That's perfect. Am I set? Yeah. Let's go. Why did your parents want to start this farm? They wanted to grow something that was sustainable and essentially organic, and they just like growing food together. All right, so what are we doing out here in the middle of the night? We are out here in the middle of the night because the tide is going out right now, and this is when shellfish farmers work in the winter. You're in for a pretty good treat. I am so excited. So we are gonna go out and gather some oysters first. Yes, and then I, love it. I think we should dig some clams. Okay. I have lived in the Pacific Northwest my whole life, but I have never dug for gooey duck. So oh, well, I would love it. You've come to I've the never, right place. I've never even <laughs> eaten them. So. You've never even eaten one. No. Okay. Well, I'm your girl then. If you haven't had them and you're a foodie, this is some it's a must do. I am so excited. I've never actually just like picked up oysters off the yeah, beach so before. Yeah, so this is the closest to how oysters are in the wild. They just yeah. live in the estuary. Not hard hunting right here. This is the easiest thing we're gonna gather tonight on this Yeah, you're, you're starting we're, me off easy, we're, huh? We're starting with the beginner course and then we can, <laughs> we'll work Thank our way up so to that gooey deck. I've grown up in the Pacific Northwest my entire life and I'm ashamed to admit that I'm pretty new into getting yeah. into seafood. Yeah. A few oh, years a ago, patch. I started eating oysters and I have not stopped. I love the way it makes you feel like you're taking a dive into the ocean with every bite. Oh, this one, oh, oh, it's yeah. a crab, it's fine, yeah. it's fine, it's cool, it's nature. <laughs> I think we should rinse these off and maybe okay. go dig some clams. That sounds awesome. We did good. That was a great harvest. Clam forks here. Okay. You can do it like downward dog style, or you can- This is clam yoga now, <laughs> I like clam. it. So you can do it like this, or you can go on your hands and knees. But okay, you just, I'm just trying to get my uh, boot out of the sand. Yeah, area. it might be easier. Oh. <laughs> like that? That's is a different that how you that, That's exactly okay. how you do it, yep. Yeah, totally. Just take your fork and just push the tines into the beach, and then pull it back. What's this? That is a gorgeous clam. Yes! Yes! Look at that one. Clams, kind of my personal favorite right now. Have I graduated to uh, the gooey duck? I guess it's time to find out. <laughs> There's no time like the present. There wasn't gooey duck farms 30 years ago when my parents started this farm, and we were one of the first gooey duck farms. Wow. Are gooey ducks native to the Pacific Northwest? They are, yeah. And there are more gooey ducks in Puget Sound by weight than any other animal. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. People want to try new things and they uh -huh. want to try something different and local and this hits all those buttons and it's delicious. Did you see him move? No. Yeah, here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you're standing in the middle of thousands of them right now. That looks like a nice big one. Yeah? You think that's you our one? You can just tell by the, just the size of that. Well, no, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go deep. Okay. I've heard about the gooey duck. I've of course seen images of it. I have laughed at its ridiculously phallic shape. But beyond that, I really don't know a whole lot about it. This is why gooey ducks taste so good. Yeah, because you're so starving by the time you get one. <laughs> I do know that it's gonna require me getting pretty deep into a muddy hole, and I'm pretty excited about that actually. Coming for ya! <laughs> Here we come! I got one! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Look That's at a decent thing. one! Yeah, yeah. that was okay. 
It's okay. It's not huge, but it'll it'll so feed us. Do? Wow, yeah. that is a beautiful animal, isn't that? It, yeah, <laughs> that's what that well, is. This beauty. That is. We have earned that gooey duck. Yeah, we have. Yeah, that yeah. Was that was a great first gooey duck. Thanks. There's another one. You want to get that one too? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let someone else take care of that one. <laughs> All right. So, what's the process of shucking these oysters? So, you want to get the hinge end of the oyster. Mm -hmm. You just kind of want to gently push it onto your knife. You don't push too hard. Okay. And then you just wiggle it back and forth until it pops like that. All right. And then. There's your abductor muscle, so you want to cut that loose also so that the oyster is loose from the bottom shell. Always travel with a cocktail kit. I like your style. Yeah. We just gathered some of the most beautiful ingredients and we want to enjoy them right now. I prepare for us some raw oysters with tequila. So you get this bright, briny, cold oyster that's slurping and bathing in this tequila that's been muddled with a bit of spicy jalapeno, some fresh mint, and then you finish it off with a bright squeeze of lime. Excellent. Cheers. Right. Cheers to the night tide There is no better way to end a midnight shellfish hunt than with these spicy tequila mm -hmm. oyster shooters. That was really good. <laughs> Shina and I say our goodbyes <laughs> and we make plans for the next day when we are going to cook a feast. Good morning, Shina. Good morning. It's classic Pacific Northwest out Very here. Very classic. Shina first sets a big pot of water to boil as she's gearing up to prepare the gooey duck. Full of oysters. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. While she does that, I get to work on a really simple lemony dill oil to serve with the raw oysters. So fresh tasting. I've never tried this before. I'm a little bit nervous to give it to Shina, but I am loving the smell of the ingredients together and I really think it's gonna pair beautifully with the oyster. When I shuck my oysters, I try and keep them flat so the liquor stays in because I think that flavor of the bay that you get in the water is a good part of it. But if you want less salty, then you can pour that liquid out. Let's see how we did here. Finish off with some pecorino. How do we do? That is amazing. Beautiful. Oh, good. By the time we finish slurping down those oysters, the water is boiling and we're moving on to the gooey duck. On these, so, you can just so I'm amazed at the ease of what it takes Shina to prepare boiling. this gooey duck. She just simply dips it in the hot water for not even five seconds. And then she removes the outer shell and starts peeling off that outer dark skin layer. It's not a beautiful <laughs> process. Hey, ugly food can be delicious food. I'm really proud of our maturity right now. For, yes. Um, not making the obvious jokes. Just like any other really delicate food, you want to cook it as little as possible. Okay. I always describe it as al dente because you get that snap back like you do with properly cooked pasta. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's anything more Pacific Northwest than um, eating a gooey duck we dug on the beach, we dug it on in the rain. The flavor is so soft, subtly reminiscent of a clam, but yet sweeter, more delicate, and I'm in love. I am now a gooey duck fan for life. Mmm, oh my gosh. Pretty good. That is delicious. Yeah? We gotta get moving. The tide is chasing us out of here. Yeah, this is the one thing we can't control. <laughs> the tide is coming in. All right, so now we're moving on to the clams and I'm so excited about this dish. Why do this? I mean, I know farming and, and, and this work is so hard. What does it mean to you? It's amazing that we're able to grow food for people and we really have such little input to it. You know, we don't add any herbicides, pesticides, none of that, no feed to the 
the shellfish, they're getting everything they need right from Mother Nature. And it's just a very sustainable way to grow protein. It's doing what Mother Nature does in a controlled setting. Shellfish are, are such a good reminder of the incredible power of the natural process. It seems to me that our role in all of this is to protect and enjoy these ingredients. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Right? That I think you can serve that in any incredible. restaurant. Well, before we start eating this pasta in the ocean, <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for having us out here. I really appreciate it. Just, I learned so much. Thank you for sharing your food with me, and thanks for coming out to the oh, farm. Thank you. Too. My pleasure. Yeah, this was an adventure. Let's uh, take this pasta to dry land, shall yeah. we? <laughs> we might need a boat. <laughs> yeah.